Sports. Governor Andy Bashir is asking the court to end a temporary restraining order against his mask mandate within the Diocese of Covington. Reporter Marielle Carbone is in Cold Spring, where with where things stand tonight. Well, as things stand, that restraining order will stay in place, meaning students here at St. Joseph Elementary and other schools within the Diocese of Covington can keep their masks off. Now, a father I spoke to who was also behind the petition hopes it stays that way. On the first day back to school. That evening, our son came out and he was kind of beside himself. Brandon Volker says his son, who goes to St. Joseph's Elementary, struggled. He had struggled during the day with his mask and a, a teacher getting on him. Volker says there was confusion. First, parents were told masks were optional for students within the Diocese of Covington. Then, Governor Andy Bashir announced an executive order mandating masks for all public and private schools. So dozens of parents put together this petition asking the court for an injunction. It was more a parental choice that the parents were told something and were hoping that would have been followed. Thursday, Judge William Bertelsman issued a temporary restraining order, lifting the mask mandate within the Diocese of Covington. In a motion filed today, the governor is asking for that restraining order to be dissolved and for the motion for an injunction denied. His office says the governor did not have an opportunity to respond before the judge issued Thursday's order and that the injunction threatens the public health and safety in the face of skyrocketing cases of COVID-19. My values and priorities are around protecting the health of our students. Jason Glass is Commissioner of Education for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. He says despite the judge's temporary restraining order, nothing changes for public schools. Today is no different than earlier this week. Under its authority, the State Board of Education passed an emergency regulation earlier this month, requiring masks for all students and staff in Kentucky public schools. No one wants to be doing this any longer than we absolutely have to. And the fact the fastest way that we can get through this is to get our community transmission rates under control. And a hearing on the injunction is set for Tuesday at 1 p.m. In Cold Spring, I'm Ariel Carbone, WCPO 9 News.